Louise McCarthy. Um, I'm going to talk today about my journey in terms of digital transformation and more importantly about how you can get buy-in from the business because I think that for any transformation to be a success, it's about getting the business buy-in. So, two years ago, I was brought into EBRD. And if any of you are aware of EBRD, the European Bank of Reconstruction, it's owned by 63 finance ministers across the world. It's not European anymore, it's worldwide. So I suppose anything that's only got a short lifespan, things are held together with sticky tape and plaster. So the people, the processes, the technology, nothing's really strategic, it's not, not joined up. It's, it's actually making money. It wasn't intended to make money, but it's making money for the shareholders. It's doing, it's doing good. So they decided they wanted to continue on and they wanted sustainability. So two years ago, I was brought in to create a program called OE&E, which is Operation Efficiency and Effectiveness. And I think that's quite good because people get scared by the word transformation. I think you're going to come in, you're going to shake things up, and then you're going to run away. And what were our objectives? Our objectives were to um, increase the scalability and obviously cut costs to be more efficient. There was not a lot of focus around what the client needs were, neither in the IT department in terms of what the business needs, but not from the business in terms of what the client needs were. There was no agile way of working or lean way of working. Everything was done in a waterfall way. And let's put it down to the target operating model. IT department was made up of 260 people, and it's not a big organisation. So that probably you'll probably realise that's quite a lot of people. Of those 260 people, 160 of them were contractors. And of those 160 contractors, the majority of them have been there for 25 years. And inevitably, the technology had moved on, the customer requirements moved on, so this really bad relationship had formed between IT and the business. I think there's two halves to a digital transformation. There's demand-led, so what does the business need? And then there's services-led. What's out there in terms of technology? There's the Internet of Things, the mobile, smart devices, the big data analytics. And it's about how you bring those two together in such a way that it's collaborative and everybody gets on board with the journey. I've never seen it for such a long time, but there was a brown internal envelope flying around and uh, it was a job's worth. You know, it's lots of manual keying from one system to the next and it was just painful to watch. And probably for me, the toughest thing in this sales pitch that I had to do was sell into 63 finance ministers, all men, of all different nationalities, sitting around this big table with all the flags and their ministers and their advisors sitting around them, and explaining to them about my digital and data strategy. And their eyes glazed over. You couldn't use the word digital and you couldn't use the word data because they were like, what are you talking about? So I had to try and find a way of repitching it so that these 63 ministers actually understood it. So I asked them if they would mind communicating a changed way of working between IT and the business. Because for anything to change, we needed to get the business on board and we needed to change the sour relationship. But I decided that the four ways of working around commitment, so we needed the business to commit their best resources into this transformation. We needed ownership, we need the business to own their processes. IT don't know the processes, we need the business to own them. Trust IT, and that one I'll come back to in a moment, but you need to start trusting IT. You can't keep saying, oh, IT have done it wrong in the past, so we're never gonna move forward. We need to get over that hurdle. And then the final one is about collaboration. It's about bringing both parties together and working as a joint change programme rather than it's IT doing it to the business. Because one of the issues was every time there was a business problem, somebody would go and buy another legacy and just plop it on. But this is around having one single standard platform for which everything was going to be driven from. And then you have the um, microservices that sit on the top, which meant any change in future was going to be quick, cheaper and far more agile. I suggested to very senior, men, uh, senior board members what we're going to do is we're going to do something radically different. We're not going to ask the internal development team to build this for us. We're going to go out to market and we're going to ask suppliers who we've never worked with before to come in and build the first seven epics of this end-to-end -end build free of charge. And then for eight weeks, on the top floor of the EBR build building in Liverpool Street, we had four suppliers sectioned off. And they had their own scrum rooms set up. We had the 150 business users working with them for eight weeks, moving from one supplier to the next, building these seven minimal viable products over an eight-week period. 
the business were excited, they were party to this change, they were getting aha moments with the suppliers going, oh, we could do this and we could do that. So that went really well. And at the end of the eight weeks, what we had was four minimal viable products that the business could choose which one they liked the best. Because that journey now is almost finished. The business are excited, they're getting that whole thing. It doesn't take two years, it's not costing millions and millions of pounds like it used to. And everybody's collaborating into this changed way of working. But I wanted to get some innovation going. So I started creating hackathons, supplier innovation days. We had a road show where I had a load of suppliers bringing in technology that the business hadn't seen before. So just that people were having their eyes open to the way that things can be different and you're getting the business on board was really good for us.